take your creator castle set out east and build this Japanese medieval castle alternate build. How's it going everyone? I'm Stonewall. I am really excited to be showing y'all my latest alternate build of the Creator 3-in-1 Medieval Castle. It's probably my favorite one so far. Originally I bought two of these sets with the intention of following a rebrickable design that combined them to make a larger castle. But after I made a pretty cool speed build of this set, I started tinkering with it and ended up with this design I am really happy with. And before I go any further, I just want to mention that I did make instructions for this alt build available on rebrickable. So if you want to build the set, be sure to click on that link in in the description to check them out. So my inspiration for the set was the architectural style of Japanese castles. If you're unfamiliar with them, they look quite different than European medieval castles. Typically they have a large wooden multi-floored structure on top of this formidable rock base. My initial focus was on the top structure, so I gave it three floors accented with yellow walls and overhanging that with dark blue roofs and I made sure that each higher floor was smaller than the one below it. Now the reason I call this a Japanese medieval castle is because it's kind of a hybrid of the two styles. I think the top section nicely follows the Japanese styling, however the bottom section still kind of resembles a medieval castle. But that's okay, I think the tall structure and small footprint really work well together. As you can see the front of the top section has some flags, the black falcon crest is prominently displayed, and there's even a stand here for their falcon mascot to perch on. Around the side we have a door, and then a windowsill with some torches lit, and there's a walkway that surrounds the top of the building, along with the battlements that go all the way around the castle. The back of the top part is left open, just like in the original set. We have a treasure room with a chest and other goodies, and above that is the throne room with a small fireplace and, well, a throne of course. And then at the top, we have a small attic. Now this is a true alternate build, meaning that you only need the pieces from the original set to build this design. And as you can see, I even kept the original dragon build as well. So since I was fairly limited on available bricks, there is one wall comprised of just gray panels. In universe, it has yet to be painted. If you wanted to, you could easily swap those out for a few additional yellow bricks. Moving down to the base, the second floor displays the kingdom's colors with the flags here. There's also a nice little porch on the front here where proclamations can be made to outsiders. You can easily take this off to place a minifigure in there and then reattach it. The second floor doesn't have too much of an interior, but I did make sure to have one archer slit on each side of the castle for defensive purposes. The front part also conceals the mechanism for the working drawbridge. Just like in the original set, you turn this wheel here to draw it up, and the lever to release it is just inside. Now I wanted to make sure that my castle was still accessible like the original crater set was, so I designed it that you can take it apart pretty easily. First you disconnect the drawbridge chains, and then you just lift the whole top section off. It's attached just by a few studs, like how the modular buildings are. And now to make things even easier, you can then separate the first floor into two different sections. As you can see, the back section still has the blacksmith area, the dungeon with a prisoner it looks like they probably forgot about, and then the marketplace with different foods to purchase. Oh, it looks like a mouse is going after a large stack of cheese in the corner there. The front section has the suit of armor the blacksmith has been working on, a well in one corner, and then a very public toilet in the other corner. The castle goes back together really easily. Just connect the first floor sections and then place the top section on it and reattach the drawbridge chains. On the front of the castle we saw there is the drawbridge of course. There's also a tree on one side, and then on the other side there is some natural terrain that part of the castle's foundation was built on. And then around back we have another tree with a bench under it. There's a nice little archery range here for the archers to keep up their skills. There's also this little wooden training thing that I think I saw in Kung Fu Panda. Pretty sure that does something. And next to that we have a chicken pen. The rooster actually looks like he might be giving a speech to the hens. Hopefully they're not plotting their escape. And finally on this side we still have the breakaway wall for the dungeon. Last thing I'll mention is that this castle is actually pretty sturdy. I don't know if you ever tried to move the original set Lego made, but it's super flimsy and really hard to move altogether. But as you can see, this one has no problem. And it's also taller than the original set. I have it here next to my other alt builds in the police modular and you can see it's the tallest one. So there you go guys, that's my Japanese medieval castle alt build. Go ahead and click that like button if you like this set and be sure to let me know in the comments if you plan on building this set yourself. If you want to check out some of my other alt builds, I'll leave links in the description or you can click on one of these videos here. Otherwise, see you next time.